Hey everybody, welcome back to No Jumper News. It's Adam22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. First story, Lil Yachty blasted DJ Vlad for posting a story declaring that Yachty and Uzi are no longer friends. Vlad TV posted an article to Twitter titled, Lil Yachty seems to confirm he's no longer cool with Lil Uzi Vert. The story was based on a phone call that we had with Yachty on the No Jumper show on Tuesday. Yachty quickly took to Twitter to let his feelings about Vlad be known, calling him an FBI agent, stating that Vlad was twisting his words. Vlad TV, you a bitch, cuz that's not what I said. Stop tweeting words, you FBI agent. Vlad replied to Yachty, standing behind his article tweeting nobody's twisting your words they asked if you and Lil Uzi Vert were cool and you said eh. watch the video yourself before you start accusing people of twisting words that you said yourself in response Yadi explained that he'd rather not speak on the situation publicly but Vlad continued to press the issue aka meaning you're not cool with him because if you were cool you would say stop acting like people are stupid Yadi you said what you said stand behind your words like a man Yadi replied you a bitch and you're dumb eat a dick you dumb fuck I don't have a problem with him we just don't talk as the back and forth continued, Vlad did some digging and pulled up an old tweet between Yachty and Uzi, pointing to the fact that Uzi called out Yachty back in November for allegedly dating JT of City Girls in 2018. Well, after doing some digging, now I see that your little Uzi Vert comment that you're trying to backtrack from is a whole lot more than we just don't talk. It seems like this whole thing is really about JT of the City Girls, and here's the tweet that started it all. In the quoted retweet, Yachty shared Vlad's discovery with Uzi seemingly laughing at Vlad in the situation. At Little Uzi Vert. Look at this. <clears throat> Adding a bunch of crying, laughing face emojis. All right, so AD, you were there. I think you were a little too high at this point to actually have any kind of commentary on this. But how did you perceive this? I was high as fuck. Mm. I really was. But no, nah, like, I didn't take it that Yachty alluded to him having a problem with Uzi. It just seemed like. One of them situations was just like, yeah, like we don't, I don't know where we stand. That don't mean like you have a problem with somebody or something like that. I mean, I totally understand why Vlad took it that way because to be honest, I kind of took it that way too, where it's like, oh, you're not cool with Uzi. That's what I took from what Yadi said. He said, eh, and he like wouldn't say anything about it. Like if I'm cool with somebody and somebody asked me about them in an interview, I say, yeah, yeah, that's a homie, you know, and like you keep it moving. Yadi could have easily said, yeah, yeah, he's cool. We're, we're, we're cool. You know, like he could have easily done that. He didn't do that. And I respect that he kept it real. But I also don't really think that Vlad was being uh, disingenuous with the way that he framed it. I think maybe the, the way that I might have framed it if I was writing a blog and I wanted to it, describe what happened on that phone call, I probably would have said Lil Yachty declines to comment when asked if he's cool with Lil Uzi Vert. Because I think that that is maybe like a safer explanation of exactly what happened on that phone call. But I think to say that he seems to confirm that he's not on good terms with Lil Uzi Vert, I feel like that's accurate as well. But who gives a fuck? Or were they best friends at all or anything like that? It's because there was the tweet before in which basically Uzi called out Yachty and then it was sort of explained that we we think, we think, and I should probably get confirmation on this, but this is what everybody assumed, is that Yachty cheated on JT or did something that Uzi is not a fan of and now that Uzi is with JT, he basically is apparently holding a grudge against Yachty for something that Yachty did while he was dating JT back in 2018. I seen that tweet. I thought it was fucking funny games, but who knows, man? Yeah, I mean, it's weird because Uzi is this like cryptic communicator. Like he, he doesn't lay it all out there for you, but it seems like something happened because, you know, Yachty did used to date JT and Uzi is with him now. I didn't and know that. that that's a pretty easy way for two people to have beef. Like, that's one of the most consistent ways that people will not get along. Now you say something like that, it's just like, I know, you know, you you deal with a girl and it's like, you could be cool with somebody, but once you enter that territory, it's just like, uh, I can't be like cool with you like that no more. If you are, are fully wifed up with a girl and there's uh -huh. another dude who's another rapper, another popping rapper that everybody knows and he used to date her, that automatically already puts you in the arena of potentially not getting along. And then apparently there's something that Uzi knows about that Yachty might have done. And who knows if it was as simple as cheating. Yeah. We could probably assume that, you know, any rapper in a relationship is is likely to cheat. I don't know about it, this. It could have been something more serious. We don't know. I should call in with Yachty so I can at least like allude to what the truth is. But uh, I don't think that Vlad was all that disingenuous. All I know is if, you know, I'm wiping up somebody and somebody she messed with is in the room, they better not smile or smirk our way. You know, like that? No.
I feel you. What the fuck is he thinking? <laughs> Okay, and for our last story, the Alabama rapper OMB Peasy was reportedly arrested on Monday in connection to the shooting that occurred at the Roddy Rich 42 Doug video shoot recently. According to reports, the offense date listed is February 21st, the same day as the alleged shooting that left three people shot and two hospitalized. Both Roddy and Doug briefly addressed the incident shortly after the news broke to assure fans that they were good. Wednesday morning, Peasy updated his Instagram story to proclaim his innocence, apparently confirming his arrest. I'm innocent. Be home soon. Love y'all. His charges include aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. His bond was set at $60,000. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported that PZ must agree to wear an ankle monitor and surrender his passport before posting bond. Soon after, OMB affiliate Ice B shared a video clip showing that PZ was later released from jail. YouTube, it's the Max Sitch. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all. Please keep that. Yeah, of course. It's the max, sitch.